What's up, everybody? So, this is Hunter with Van Houten Guitars, and I thought we would do something pretty fun today. Something super simple, something really easy, uh, and that is going to be how to change your guitar pickguard easily at home by yourself. I have a custom Tele style that I built not that long ago, and when I built it, uh, I did a all white pick guard. Uh, it's got a little bit of a cream tint to it. It's hard to see in this light. Uh, it doesn't have enough of a creamy style to it. And it's just too new looking and nice looking for this relic, uh, relic style guitar. So what I did is I got a cream guard. It's a little more matted, which is nice. Uh, I, I went over it with like 3000 grit ish sanding pad. Uh, so it was really, really soft. Knocked down the shine on it, as you can see. Yeah, that's what we want. We want it to go with the overall aesthetic. So, what you're gonna need to do this is you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Mainly most guitars have Phillips head pickguard screws. They are smaller screws. Uh, you're probably gonna need a bit that's a little bit smaller, as with this one, as you can see. Uh, it's a little bit of a smaller bit. All right, so a little helpful hint though, before we start, is when you're changing out pick guards, it's super, super important to change out the pick guard that fits your guitar. If you don't know how to custom make a pick guard, I show you how on an earlier video, so go back and watch my earlier videos on how to make a custom pick guard. Uh, you can copy the one that's on there if you have the tools to do so. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get one that fits. This may even take a little bit of modification to get it to work. Sometimes things don't quite match up. Get one as close to the original as possible. And the way you do that is you can go online, you can find a lot of secondhand manufacturers. Even the uh, main brands themselves make pick guards uh, specifically as replacements. So uh, make sure you get like, if it's for example, a made in USA versus a made in Mexico, uh, make sure you get the pick guard that will fit. Also make sure your screw holes, you have the right number of screw holes because a lot of tellies sometimes can have different numbers of screw holes. And we're gonna do this on my couch because I'm not in the shop and don't have a workbench with me right now, so. Good times. It's good to lay your new pickguard on top of the old one before you even start to determine if you need to take something off um, and or fit it right. This, this may take a few tries. Uh, another uh, little helpful hint for you too is that you can always uh, put a little adhesive um, sandpaper on the back of the neck if you're getting, and or around the neck, if you're getting some sort of, uh, you know, rubbing on the, the uh, pick guard and it won't go down all the way, uh, and just slide it up and down into place and, and it should uh, eventually start to fit. Otherwise, if you can make a little visual marker and then take the ends down with sandpaper, that's always a good option too. Let's uh, get all of these screws removed. Uh, before we do that, it's really, really important that if you have a pickup that is connected to your pick guard, uh, right? So these two, these two screws, I know this pickup is connected to this pick guard. That's how it mounts. It's not under the pick guard that mounts, which some tell these do. You're gonna wanna mark off your pickups or your pickup with a piece of tape. Now I've gone ahead and done that with this. I put a piece of painter's tape over here, over the edge of the pickup. So that way I know just right at the pick guard line, uh, I know where my pickup height is set. And this is where I currently prefer it to be set. So I've got one on this side of the pickup and then one on the back side of the pickup as well. Uh, just on both sides of the pickup. That way I know that uh, my height will match up on the pickup. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna have to reset your pickup height and that's not fun. Important thing to note, um, for these pick guard screws, you're probably gonna need an even smaller Phillips head screwdriver. This is one, like a big one for like glasses and things of that nature. These work great. Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. You're gonna see your uh, your pickup drop into the cavity, and that's okay. It's just got downward pressure on it from surgical tubing and or spring that's gonna be on the back end or back side of that. And I'll pull this up and show you what I mean. So before I take it all out, you're gonna see surgical tubing and or spring like this, and that's okay. You're just gonna pull that out, and so it, it 
keeps the tension on that pickup. Now we're gonna take our new pick guard, out the old, in with the new. We're first gonna mount our pickup. So we're gonna take our little surgical tubing pieces and or springs, whatever you got. And I don't have much slack here, which is fine. So I'm gonna start by putting the pickup screw. I'm gonna place the surgical tubing on the back side, like that. Make sure it's sli sliding over it. I'm gonna hold it down like this. And then I'm gonna come to my pickup, which I have my hole right here. Make sure we're going in to the pickup hole. And once I feel that it's in there, I'm gonna start to tighten. You don't need to go too far with it to start. And when you're raising these up, it's important to raise it pretty evenly. That way you are not taking the tape off as you raise it up, like I've done with this one a little bit, because it'll pinch one side and then you'll be stuck. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna replace all the screws. And there you have it, my friends. So, this is the old and uh, this is the new. It's uh, definitely a little more, uh, you know, matte, which I like. It's got an older, older finish, as you can see. See the gloss comparison uh, versus this guy. And uh, this is a little darker cream color, which is hard to see in the light. This is more of an actual uh, brighter white, and then this is like a parchment colored cream. Yeah, it looks good on this guitar. So all we gotta do is clean it up a little bit and then I can put some new strings on it and we're in action. I might have to adjust the pickup height a little bit. As you can see, you may have to adjust your pickup height afterwards if the tape doesn't stay on. And it's not a big deal because you can easily adjust your pickups by ear. Uh, it's kind of whatever feels right to you. So, hope you guys dug this video. Super simple, super easy thing. Uh, fun thing to do, change your pick guards out. You know, helps your guitar kind of stand apart. You can you can do whatever you want. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff. There's uh, so many companies out there that make uh, amazing pick guard material. You can even experiment with your own and you can paint your own things on it. You can upholster it. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff. So yeah, I challenge you to change your pick guard out yourself. Uh, do something cool with it. It's kind of a way to, to mod your guitar and make it unique to you. So I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you wanna see more videos, uh, I've got a lot more coming. Been a little slow lately. I'm actually moving to a new shop uh, in a couple weeks. So um, yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome, can't wait. All right, everybody, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I will see you soon. Bye.